Paranormal Activity 2 is set two months before the first film and follows Katie's sister, Christy, and her family. The film begins when Christy's house is broken into, leaving her husband, Dan, to install multiple security cameras in order to capture the culprit. This is the big innovation of this prequel. Usually the whole multiple camera setup just doesn't work, but given the routine formula laid out by the first film, it's a neat little gimmick that actually works in this one's favor. Obviously, the movie is set up to give us glimpses of different areas of the house at the same moment in time, so in a way it feels more dynamic, and honestly was the only direction that felt right without it feeling like a complete rehash. It takes advantage of those wide angles, forcing you to keep an eye out for that one thing in the shot that's moving by itself. And because there are multiple cameras, there's also more continuity in the editing, which, believe it or not, enhances that feeling of isolation. For example, this scene where the housekeeper examines the kitchen. There's also the family dog, which adds a new dimension of tension because you know it's seeing something that no one else does. The demon this time around also seems to torment Christie's newborn son, which is unsettling to say the least. The housekeeper, extremely superstitious, begins burning sage and spraying the house with anti-demon serum, which eventually gets her canned. This is one of those scenes that was poorly spoofed in Scary Movie 5. Like its predecessor, it has its share of subtlety and jump scares. At one point, we see the baby dangling in midair, which is a little comical for my tastes, but I digress. It also tries to do what any good sequel does, which is to add a little to the mythology. It establishes a backstory, which was more or less hinted at in the original, where Katie and Christy were haunted by a demon as kids, the result of which drove their mother to go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. You want to know what I remember? I remember you crying. All the time. I remember you couldn't sleep, and you got anxiety attacks. I remember that you stopped talking for months. In the third act, Christy finally gets attacked, like her sister eventually does, leaving Dan to make a desperate last-ditch decision to save his family. It's chilling what he decides to do, but it cleverly brings us back full circle to where the first film begins. Essentially, Paranormal Activity 2 is a basic rehash of the first movie, dressed up as a slightly slicker follow-up due to the multiple cameras angle. It offers pretty much more of the same, and although it isn't as scary, it delivers that same level of an ease and tension that the original created, and I have to give it props for moving the story along. It's a good addition to the series as far as sequels go, and goes hand-in-hand with its preceding film.